Hello, Bernard. How are Hi, you? <laughs> Good. What you. do we do in this video? Yes. So uh, in the previous tests, I think we, you know, we um, did benchmark an individual volume and looked at the um, or in an in individual virtual machine with the IO meter test. Now it's time to do the whole stretch cluster to see how much, how many virtual machines we can get on it uh, with a decent performance. Right. Yeah, we compared the, the same benchmark VM in a non-stretched volume with a stretched volume, and we saw mm -hmm. there is an impact. So uh, yeah. we expect also an impact here, oh? <laughs> Yes. So uh, maybe uh, let me go to the uh, next slide, which is because, you know, for benchmarking, um, there are a couple of tools available, and we did talk about benchmarking in our previous installation series, um, and that's the videos, right? So we are using VMfleet for this test. Um, we have done it before, but we don't talk about the installation procedure. Uh, if you want to learn more, um, go to this video, which I highlight here. Um, this has all the details for the installation stuff. But we also look at the numbers and compare the numbers from our previous tests with a non-stretch cl non cluster. And this is the second video, uh, video number 22. Um, so there are the timelines and especially, you know, the, uh, the screenshots of the numbers which we are taking now and compared with this result on our stretched environment. So let's switch over to your system and kick off the testing routines and yeah. have I a discussion over. on the numbers yeah. yeah but first let me show we uh, you see here we deployed vm fleet um, mm -hmm. the same way we did it in the in the uh, azure stack installation uh, video series there are 35 vm mm -hmm. fleet vms let's see here right. if you go down on every node so from 001 to 0035 and mm -hmm. uh, for all four nodes you see here the owner node they are already running um okay and we can open one mm -hmm. so you see we have already done a little bit of no it's in pause mode uh okay. and starting free run okay it's already running it doesn't care we go to our test file it's the same mm -hmm. one uh, we used last time it's it's included in the vm fleet and uh, mm -hmm. I included line four, so but it's uh, it's not it's not active. There is a command, a, a, a double it's cross in front out, of right? it. Yeah. It's commanded out, right? Mm -hmm. So um, this test will do the standard Microsoft test, a four kilobyte test with one thread, thirty-two outstanding IOs, and zero write. Uh, right with it. So it's a 100% retest. And we did that in our previous video. So we wanted to compare the numbers. So let's do okay. this test. Mm -hmm. I switch over to the first node. And um, you may still the, need to unleash the brakes, right? Yes, we have to unleash the brakes. And that is, no, let's type it. It's a clear fleet pause. And if we look in our VM, mm -hmm. you should see pause uh, released. Pause released. I I think that should be new, and we should start seeing numbers here. And here they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, quite impressive. We have 1.2 million 4K IOPS. Um, right. Obviously, everything is read, so it's uh, 1.2 million read IOPS and only 100, 200, 400 uh, write IOPS. This is a mm -hmm. pure read test. And if you, yeah, and if you would compare it, you know, with our previous deployment, and to be sure, right, there has been some time in between. The cluster was set up, you know, for different purposes. So. Carson, you know, made a new deployment of this one. Um, but if we compare it with our previous tests, right, and it was, if you look at the numbers, Carson, you need to make it bigger because the number is too small. Uh, you wouldn't yeah, be able to Yeah, it's too small, see. but I, let's see. Um, yeah, here is the most important part. We have 1.23 yeah. million IOPS, and it's it's roughly the same, yeah. um, but we... Um, the read latencies are pretty good here. We have one, 0. Yeah. 0.1718 milliseconds in the previous test. It, it was roughly the same. 
the write latencies are a bit higher, but we, we, we barely have some writes. And we, mm -hmm. we see these are our read queues here. They have 50, 52, 53, 54 uh, IOs queued. And here we had a little bit more. But to okay, be honest, so this was a, on a three-way mirror. Yeah. Um, we have only done two-way mirrors, and then we uh, we replicated them. So um, okay. um, the read is obviously local. We don't go to the other side to, to get the data, right, Bernard? Uh, so mm -hmm. it should be maybe a bit faster. Yeah? But um, as you could see, I mean, it's it's roughly the same, or almost the same. I mean, it's, it's the same hardware. Um, so no tricks here, right? Um, yeah, and we see also we have this uh, roughly the same CPU uh, load right. here. It's 70, 74 on average. Here's also seventy four. So yeah. it's it's there are minor differences, but it, it's it's a measurement or it's uh, okay. it's uh, today it's Tuesday. Maybe we did the test on a Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but anyways, I mean that's the um, that's just as a reference, right? So to prove that it, this is uh, almost similar, yeah. but you know we are not. We are now looking at a different different setup, right? So you, we are changing to the same load patterns we have done in the other series. Uh, to and now I think it's going to be interesting, right? Yeah. So, so in the other series, it. we uh, we uh, got very fast rid of the 4K only read test. Yeah, there are not many customers who have such a workload. Usually you have a write part in your IO yep. and I like to test 30% uh, write, 70% yep. read. I do that forever now and mm. so why, why don't change now? So we change the test to an 8K IO Right. Uh, we do eight threads and 20 outstanding IOs per thread. So that's a mm -hmm. heavy workload with a 30% write um, okay. part. Yeah. Yeah? So let's just save this and look mm -hmm. at the numbers. We Let's see the VM. Mm -hmm. It should, yeah, we don't it's see up. it really. If it, if it, now it's picking up, yeah, we see it. It's picking up the new run file. It's mm -hmm. copying it into every VM, and let's go to the numbers. So you mm -hmm. see they changed. Now, now we are kicking up the speed again, mm -hmm. and we are at 280,000, 320, 330,000. You notice so here there's a heavy right part, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's you know thirty uh, percent, or at least that's the goal. Um, but we sort of could see that this is you know uh, sort of hitting the uh, the maximum, right? So the system yeah. is you know goes as high as it probably could with that amount of virtual machines, and you know there is some things that come to my mind. So read latency is still okay. Um, I would say I mean this, yeah, um, but the write latency. Roughly. The write latencies are relatively high. I would say 160 milliseconds. I mean, if I would be owner of an application waiting, need to wait 160, 180 milliseconds, that's noticeable, yeah, the, right? So yeah, um, and in the VM, it's it's. Uh, I think it's even worse. Uh, mm. You see here, we are right. we are maxed out at 340, 350,000, 360,000 IOPS. Right. We will compare it with the other okay. test. I have a screenshot for that. But yeah. here, this is not usable. Yeah. And look at the queues here. We have mm -hmm. 4,000, right. roughly 4,000 uh, I.O. still queued that are mm -hmm. waiting to be uh, to be worked uh, with. So uh, it's not usable. So let's, let's mm -hmm. uh, move in the screenshot from our video. Yeah. So yeah, this, so um, comparing this yeah. with you know the um, the other series with a non-stretch yeah. cluster. Um, yeah, let's see here. We have and, um, we had eight hundred. Can you, can you 000. make the uh, the screen bigger? Um, maximize this window, or at least a little bit. You know, is that enough? I just check the frame and put it a little bit larger. You mean like this? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. That's cool. So comparing it, 
that means we have more IOPS on the non-stretched system and less write latencies, right? Yeah, we had roughly 880,000 IOPS. Mm -hmm. We were writing 260,000 write IOPS and we mm -hmm. had roughly, let's see here, what's what would be the average be? I, th I would say 30, around 30 milliseconds. Uh, right. And if I go over to the queues, uh, huge Smaller. queues. This is also not usable, but mm. if you compare it to this one, um, it's that's five, six, seven times yeah. worse, yeah. and we have only one hundred thousand white IOPS. So um, this is too so, much, of course. Yeah. So I think the next test would be to sort of get the sweet spot of this hardware or of this setup, right? So yeah. let's to see yeah. what is you know like a decent number of IOPS that this system can take and then compare it again with the um, with the sweet spot on the other environment right yeah. so uh, let me but first let me uh, point mm -hmm. something out mm -hmm. you see here we have all the network cards here right yeah and if you look at the traffic the most traffic is done on the two replica adapters so we see roughly mm -hmm. 1.92 gigabits per adapter so right. that's a replica from this host uh, replicating the change in the volume that it's owning and it's owning the uh, the, mm -hmm. the volume with the same name. So we see here our replication, mm -hmm. now it's 1.5 gigabit times two. Yeah, it's yeah. it's working. It's working and it's copying the data over and our network can do more. We, mm -hmm. will, sh we will see that in another test, uh, in another video, but uh, it's a replication. It has to write the data, right? So, yeah. So what you're saying is the network is not the bottleneck here, right? So, I mean, we no. do have still uh, the bandwidth or the the, the, uh, the bandwidth that could be done is, is, is higher than the uh, 1.8 gigabyte-ish uh, Per second. Yeah, we have over here. twenty. So they are um, they yeah. are at the one hundred gigabit uh, uh, network right. adapters. Obviously, obviously, we will not get two times one hundred mm. gigabit. That's not mm. possible in this design. We saw that with the live migration in our Azure Stack HCI installation uh, mm. video. But we we got one hundred thirty uh, gigabit. So okay. the they are quite powerful, uh, but we will not get line speed. But this is mm. far far away. So uh, yeah, and we will see more in our next videos where we where we do some other nice things but i wanted to okay. point it out we see yeah, our yeah, replica is using the replica networks not the other networks and we will mm -hmm. see that also in other videos because we did a lot of networking stuff to make sure that the replica is using those uh, adapters and mm -hmm. other traffic is not using those but we will see that so let's okay. uh, change um, our io pattern mm -hmm. yeah. yeah should we uh, First, let's see the 500. We have also done the 500 in uh, a screenshot for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's save that, and this will be obviously also too much for our cluster. But let's see how it behaves. Uh, so, we have a screenshot yeah. to compare it to. So the calculation would be 500 IOPS per. Yeah. Let's go back. Times eight threads. That yes. means 4,000 IOPS per virtual machine. Yes, that means times we 35, do have right? times 35, that would be 140,000. I mean, we did the maths before, right? So 140,000 is the theoretical max per yeah. node, but we only get 112, 120. So, and it's sort of jumping up and down, right? So I would yeah, say it still we are not. We are, the we limit. are far over. We are still yeah. at this, let's say right. we are, uh, roughly at the same numbers we had mm. when we didn't didn't do any um, any limitations on the right. IOs. Yeah? yeah. So we were at we are here 180, 190 uh, milliseconds latency, and also over 4,000 uh, 4, yeah. uh, writes that are still queued up. So this is much much too much. But we wanted but, to compare it, and we have a screenshot for yeah. that, right? Where is it? Yeah, so uh, we did, you know, the 500 IOPS in our previous non-stretch test, um, and it was yeah, fine, right? So it was, if you uh, compare it here, you see the theoretical maximum of 140,000 IOPS per host, yeah. per node. Um, this was reached. It was pretty, pretty stable. Yeah, um, so and we could see a very decent write performance, right, with the same load pattern. So it was 
sub millisecond, which is a cool, yeah. cool performance. Zero four, right? right? That's, yeah. that's that's really good. And uh, mm -hmm. imagine we do five hundred sixty thousand. 8k iops in the system uh, and there are 30 percent right so pretty good numbers mm -hmm. um yeah of course a million would be better but be realistic who has a million iops so but the <laughs> yeah the yeah. most important part is the write latency here the read latency is most of the time very good and we have mm -hmm. it also in our test here we mm -hmm. are around 0 0.2 milliseconds in right in the storage that's that's not the same as we see in the vms but uh, it's a measurement to see what the cluster is doing and now look here we are far 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 yeah. over it it's so a bottom line thousand times more yeah. or roughly right yeah so bottom line you know that the, the bottom picture is you know it is sort of you know proving that a non-stretched cluster is faster and is more performant right so uh, we are in the sweet spot on the on the non-stretch, but we are way over the sweet spot on the stretch exactly. system, right? Um, yeah, it's not so, usable. Yeah. yeah. So let's so. so let's start a bit a bit lower, right? So let's mm -hmm. start maybe with one hundred, or should should we start with fifty? Let's start with fifty. Come on. Yeah. So we have a little bit one, time. One tenth, right? So one tenth, one tenth of, the of the IOPS. Yeah. Does he already? We have to put it here so that we maybe see if it's doing something. So now it's it's loading the pattern. Mm -hmm. You see here everything is calming down. Okay. So we should see one tenth. That would mean fourteen thousand IOPS, right? Theoretical yeah, roughly, max. Yeah. True. And so we have that see. now. Look how nice. Cool. Okay. So, so okay. So the system can take it. But yeah. if we compare <laughs> them, <laughs> hopefully it can take. Yeah, <laughs> it I can mean, take four hundred uh, IOPS per VM. <laughs> yeah um times 35 at, of course yeah you so, know the read latency is excellent but you know excellent. you need to make sure or at least you see the right latency right so there is a it is stretched that means you have to transport the the rights over the wire although it is you know a short wire yeah you know you're still in the mechanism for a storage replica and that adds the uh, roughly the two of, two point yeah. five milliseconds for the VM yeah. at the right, and we see here we have also a two millisecond, right. uh, around two millisecond right latency. Uh, that is already six times more than when mm. we had six hundred fifty thousand or yeah. five hundred sixty thousand. Sorry, um, uh, IOPS in our other cluster. So that is of course. One part is we have to write it twice. We have transported to the other side, of yeah. course, but we have also the log file that is uh, slowing us down. And uh, mm -hmm. hopefully, uh, we will we will get improvements here in the future. So let's speed it up a bit, huh? Yeah. So let's see what the maximum is. The system. I double it. Take. Come on, yes. I double it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. So we will see here if it catches up. So that's a fifth, as you would say, a fifth of a fifth the of IOPS the... Uh, of the thing that we have in a non-stretched environment, right? Yeah. Can you? With very take... good numbers. With very good numbers. So we should see around two, mm. uh, 28,000 IOPS mm. per host. That's okay. already 112,000 roughly, right? That's uh, good. And I think we are still good. We are still yes. good here, you see. Yeah. Didn't rise too much, I would say. Yeah, that's acceptable. I would yeah, say we can, I think, go even more. Should I try uh, 150? Yeah, go for it. So, so we see already now it's picking up it faster. Okay, let's go here. So now all the VMs are loading the new pattern. Uh -huh. And this is what I love about VM fleet. We can just change it on the fly, and uh, a minute later, all our VMs are using our pattern, right? Uh -huh. So we are now at 42,000. Pretty right. steady here. That's always a good sign if this is steady. And we have 160, 170,000 IOPS here. Uh -huh. And uh, we see a two or a three, sometimes a five, but uh -huh. it's still. 
it's still usable, I would say. The queues are yep. now at around 30, 35, yeah? Mm -hmm. 40 sometimes. There are some, some um, outliers, or how you call it in English. Mm. Not so sure, but, but, but still, yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's it's okay. But I it's, think we are approaching the edge, right? So you yeah. have some some parts, some numbers are trying to escape from the usual, you know, average. Um, so this is, I would say, you don't have too much room left for. I think yeah, let's are, let's go to two hundred. Let's see what's happening at two hundred. <laughs> okay, oh, and yeah. then we can we can uh, go a little. Bit. Oh, let's do do uh, half of it. Seventy five, one hundred seventy five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. We don't want to prolong this video too much, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, the important part that we wanted, we want to show um, that it's still, it still uh, has still power, but it's not the same at, uh, as if we would have a non-stretch scenario. Mm -hmm. So now they are uh, picking up speed again. Mm -hmm. So we are now at roughly two hundred thousand IOPS. Right. 58,000 rides and they are steady. So look here, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Still not too bad in the moment. We are higher here. Yeah, we are in the 40s. One of mm -hmm. the two of the nodes are at 60 in the moment. So yep. we are higher, but uh, the queues are not too far away. Yeah, and looks good, I would say. Yeah. That looks still decent. So mm -hmm. um, to to really really test it, we would have to run it longer, of course. Yeah, uh, but that seems still decent, I would say. Mm -hmm. Or what yeah. would you say? Yeah, we are yeah. we are approaching four milliseconds, maybe, but we yeah. are still most of the time below four milliseconds. So let's let's do two hundred, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see what happened at two hundred. So 175 was still good. Mm -hmm. At least it seems good, right? Mm -hmm. So new run file. Yeah, so we are picking up speed. So we are over 200,000. And to be honest, the right part is the important part. The read is not yeah. not really yeah. the problem here. So we are 225,000. The read is still pretty. Uh, and I would say the cluster is behaving ma marvelous. We, are, we have threes here, fours. Mm -hmm. it's, not go, it's not running away. It's still stable in the moment. We, are, we see 70s here. We are roughly... Yeah, now we had a 120, but it's coming back again. Mm -hmm. 70, 50, that's still not too bad. But uh, you see, we have sometimes we have higher write latencies over 10. Mm -hmm. I would say we, we could go now. We have a 24 here. You see, there are sometimes outliers. I, th I yeah. think it's the right word. I'm uh, out. Yeah, uh, but now it's 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 good again. But I think we are at the point we can do a bit more, maybe, or this is maybe the point where where. Let's do you know. Let's try to find the spot where it's running away. Um, maybe okay, you go we, for a. We, let's do a two hundred and fifty, and then see. Um, you want to go to fifty? That, that would be yes. half the IOs we had before in our. Right. Right. So let's see what happening with two hundred fifty. I, I would guess it's too much, but in the moment, the cluster is doing nice. And we can also have a look here at the replication. It's picking up again, you see? One gig, one, two, one, three, one, four. So we have 2780, 280, 280, 84,000 write IOPS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on his best behavior, <laughs> Bernard. Well, yeah, now yeah we I would see, say, see, I mean, yeah, you we, have some, yeah. you have some, yeah. uh, some, some numbers jumping. Yeah, uh, they are still decent numbers most of the yeah. time, but we see now we see a ten, we see a seven, we we saw a fourteen. Right. It's 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 going thirty-two. Yeah, I think we are. 
we are over it. It's not it's not yeah. too stable. 52, you saw it, right? But bottom line is, I would say, with half of the half of the IOPS, right? Um, you would say, like an, in a non-stretched environment, half of the IOPS is sort of at least something, you know, you should be aware of. Don't put so many virtual machines on it because you could sustain only maybe up to a half of it. Um, and yeah, the other thing yeah. is, I mean, the latency, right? Is is much higher than on uh, than it would be on a non stretch yeah. system. If you compare it with the numbers we had in our non stretch system, I still have them here handy. Yeah. So let's see here. You see here uh, we had zero point four. Here we are at yeah. let's say a four. If if we uh, if we close both eyes, yeah. It's factor ten. Um, yeah, so it's factor ten. So mm -hmm. it's it's a different. The cluster, I would say, is still kind of yeah. stable. It's a little bit over, maybe. Yeah. So you can run the VMs with that I/O, but the latency is is ten ten times at least, and at yeah. this layer, it's ten yeah. times worse in the in the uh, CSV layer. Yeah. The uh, of course the SBL layer is still golden, but that's local. I would mm. say the software bus layer it's local. We have only a two-way mirror. It's even better than here. Mm. But what's important is what is really the VM seeing in this in right. this layer. Yeah. yeah, and there is a huge a huge difference. And you see here we we are we are we are now out of the four milliseconds. Now it's back. It's it's too much. I would say and half is too much. Yeah, and it's also like you know, even you know the below test, uh, the uh, five hundred and sixty thousand IOPS we had on our non-stretched. I don't think that that's that this was the absolute maximum. We could have gone higher, I think, you know, yeah. uh, but that was some sort of an artificial number. But it, you know, yeah, it's we didn't some want sort to of bore our view. But, yeah, but bore bore our view, our viewers yeah. with messing around. Usually, in a in a real scenario, I would really. If, try to find a good yeah. number so i did i did now 160 that's roughly mm -hmm. a third yeah? and we will see we still see here um yeah you see it's still uh, it's still um uh, two three sometimes 15 i would say a third is better than half of it yeah? it's mm -hmm. maybe not yeah it's i think it's better a third okay of the idea. So I think okay. was that was that it for this video? Um, it, so yeah, I would it, say this what is that this was it for this video. We yeah. will use VM fleet in our next videos to have workload on our cluster, and we will play around with our cluster a bit and show. Um, yeah. Maintenance. Show like how maintenance. resilient it is, right? Yes, yes. So let's, you know, you you've seen the performance implications, and now let's let's play a little bit and do some uh, resiliency tests. Okay. See you in the next. See one. You in the next one.